Welcome to the new section. In this section, you will do your very first exploring of the Moodle platform with a super user account. In this current lesson, let us see how Moodle 3.0 looks absolutely fresh off the installation. On your screen now, you see what is called by Moodle as the front page. The front page is the initial page seen by someone reaching a Moodle site typically before a login. Inside Moodle, in the navigation bar and the navigation block, which you will see later, this page is called as Home. We will see many examples of this front page in a coming lesson, but most typically a visitor will see different courses, some blocks of institutional information, and also maybe some simple activities that can be participated in. We will see how to configure all of this on this page in detail later. On this fresh installation, our front page is completely minimal. There are only two blocks, one on the left hand side for navigation with a courses link on it and the second on the right hand side is a calendar. There is nothing else on this page except for login links on the top and bottom of the page. I will now click on the login link to authenticate into Moodle. The login page which you see now also is very minimal and you should now use the user credentials that was created during Moodle installation. Before I actually log in, let me take a minute to explain the user credentials that was created during installation. This user is frequently called as the super user or the super admin. This is so because this user has the complete set of permissions on your Moodle installation. There are about eight other roles that get created out of the box depending on your version of Moodle and we will look at them in much detail later in the course. Standard roles include student, teacher and manager and you can create customized roles as you please. Now. The manager role that I just mentioned is very similar to the admin role and in fact earlier versions of Moodle used to call this role also as an admin. But the manager role can be created and deleted as pleased by a super user. The super user credentials is the permanent role and it is the credentials that can control all of the roles and permissions on the system. So from a security perspective, it is very important that this role is completely protected. It is very much possible to do catastrophic damage like delete courses and student information from this account. So I want to stress again that this account credential should be kept very much protected. The name that I have given also is super admin, but uh, of course you can give any username that you like. There is a remember username checkbox which you can turn on. However, I will only recommend that you turn it on for development or testing servers only and not for your site's production servers from a security perspective. Moodle can allow something called as a guest access also if you as the admin allow it. This is basically limited access to some courses. We will explore it in greater detail later. But now let us log in. This landing page that you see now after logging in is called as the My Courses page or also sometimes as the course landing page. Because it is our very first login, we have not yet created any courses. Another point to note if you had not configured the site name during installation, only for the very first time, you will be redirected to the site details page after logging in. Once you have set the details, you will come back to this page. But I had done that during my installation, so I am on this course landing page now. You can configure site details at any time as you will see in a later lesson. In the next lesson, I will explain the elementary features of Moodle user interface using this page as an example in much greater detail. So see you in the next lesson.